Narrated by Jabir bin Abdullah The Prophet peace be upon him said, If you enter your town, at night, after coming from a journey, do not enter upon your family till the woman whose husband was absent from the house, shaves her pubic hair and the woman with unkempt hair, combs her hair Allah's messenger peace be upon him further said, O Jabir, seek to have offspring, seek to have offspring. Narrated by Jabir bin Abdullah We were with the Prophet peace be upon him in Ghazwe, and when we returned and approached Medina, I wanted to hurry while riding a slow camel. A rider overtook me and pricked my camel with a spear which he had, whereupon my camel started running as fast as any other fast camel you may see. I looked back, and behold, the rider was Allah's messenger peace be upon him. I said, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him. I am newly married. He asked, Have you got married? I replied, Yes. He said, A virgin or a matron? I replied, Not a virgin, but a matron. He said, Why didn't you marry a young girl so that you could play with her and she with you? When we reached near Medina, and were going to enter it, the Prophet peace be upon him said, Wait till you enter your home early in the night so that the lady whose hair is unkempt may comb her hair, and that the lady whose husband has been away may shave her pubic hair. Narrated by Abu Hazim The people differed about the type of treatment which had been given to Allah's messenger peace be upon him on the day of the battle of Uhud. So they asked Saul bin Sa'd as Sa'id who was the only surviving companion of the Prophet, at Medina. He replied, Nobody is left at Medina who knows it better than I. Fatima was washing the blood off his face and Ali was bringing water in his shield, and then a mat of date palm leaves was burnt, and the ash was inserted into the wound. Narrated by Abdur Rahman bin Abbas. I heard Ibn Abbas answering a man who asked him, Did you attend the prayer of Ed al Adha or Ad al Fitr with Allah's Messenger peace be upon him? Ibn Abbas replied, Yes and had it not been for my close relationship with him, I could not have offered it. That was because of his young age. Ibn Abbas further said, Allah's messenger peace be upon him went out and offered the Ed prayer and then delivered the sermon. Ibn Abbas did not mention anything about the Adhan, the call for prayer, or the Ikama. He added, then the Prophet peace be upon him went to the women and instructed them and gave them religious advice and ordered them to give alms, and I saw them reaching out, their hands to, their ears and necks, to take off the earrings and necklaces, etc., and throwing it towards Belal. Then the Prophet peace be upon him returned with Belal to his house. Narrated by Aisha Abu Bakr admonished me and poked me with his hands in the flank, and nothing stopped me from moving at that time except the position of Allah's messenger peace be upon him whose head was on my thigh.